voice of Jesus sing, come unto me and rest, lay down a weary one, lay down your head upon my breast, I came to Jesus as I was. Good evening everyone and welcome to evening prayers for this Sunday the 19th of February and in that light of life I'll walk till travelling days are done. Amen. O God make speed to save us, O Lord make haste to help us. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now we have selected verses from Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless the Lord's name. Proclaim the good news of salvation from day to day. Declare the glory of the Lord among the nations and the wonders of the Lord among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. 
Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord who is coming, who is coming to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this evening is taken from the book of Daniel, reading from chapter 7, verses 9 to 10 and 13 to 14. As I watched, thrones were set in place and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousands served him and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment and the books were opened. As I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the ancient one and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship, that all peoples, nations and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading this evening is from the book of John, reading from chapter 12, verses 27 to 36. Now my soul is troubled. And what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, Glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, we have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. This is the word of of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's been a strange day, certainly for me today. And then when I read the beginning of this, re of this reading, now my soul is troubled. And yet today it has been a little bit troubled. But I have things that I can put in place. For starters, I went to church this morning to worship, and that was a wonderful time of being close to God, being in fellowship with other Christians and feeling at one with the body of Christ where I worship. 
The other thing, of course, that we can all do when our soul is troubled is to pray. And just as Jesus did at that time to glorify God's name. And sometimes that's really hard to do when you're troubled. You may want to be angry. You may want to shout. You may cry. But there's always a way to glorify God through our troubles. And I also have from three different people things that I can hold on to. I have a holding cross that was given to me by a very dear friend and I use it a lot and it is great to hold. I also have a little, if you can see it, a little piece of wood which has a fish on and that stays at the bottom of my bag and sometimes I can just hold it and I can put my worries away. The other thing that I have is a stone. And some people call these worry stones. So if you're worried about anything, you can hold the stone and you can feel it. And my stone has a lovely textured cross. And on the back, it says, bless you. And my sister bought me this because I often say, bless you. But this has been a stone that again stays in the bottom of my bag and I can hold and I can give my troubles to God and feel that he is close. Just a few days before Jesus was to be crucified, he said, now my soul is troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No. It was for this reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Jesus knew that he was going to die on the cross. He could have asked God to save him. Instead, he only asked that his father's name would be glorified. Why do troubles come into our life? Maybe the troubles come for the very reason that Jesus said, so that God's name will be glorified. I'm sure we've all known people who have followed the example of Jesus when they face trouble. We even, I'm sure, know people who have faced death with such courage and faith that God's name was truly glorified. Wouldn't it be really pleasing to God if all of us face trouble in such a way that his name is glorified? We pray, Father God, we all face trouble in our daily life. Instead of asking you to take our troubles away, we ask that you help us face those troubles in such a way that your name will be glorified. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. And to listen to a beautiful song now, sung a cappella by a group of singers. Father, we love you.
Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we, who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, reigning in glory. Cloud and deep darkness proclaim your holiness. Radiant light shows forth your truth. Jesus has entered the cloud of your presence. He has taken his seat at the right hand of majesty, perfect sacrifice. He has put away sins. Merciful high priest, he pleads for our weakness. Always our brother, he prepares our place in heaven. Ruler of all, he establishes your reign, dawning light for the righteous, hope of sinners. Blessed are you, sovereign God, high over all. Amen. We're now going to begin our cycle of prayer for this East Midlands Synod. But our readings this morning, uh, this evening, sorry, have all reflected about the light, the light of Christ. And so tonight I light a candle, a candle of peace, a candle of light and a candle of hope. And so this evening, we pray for all ministers, elders and members of our United Reformed Church, for moderators of synods and general assembly. We pray for churches together in Britain and Ireland and all who serve you the world over. We pray for our evening prayer partners in the US and in the Netherlands and in the Synod of Botswana. We pray for all of those Christians across the world who shine the light for you. As evening falls, we bring to God the needs of the world. For all Christians, that we may preach the reign of God in word and deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the nations, that the peace of God may dispel the rumblings of war. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our community, that our lives may be marked by the spirit of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all those who suffer, that the resurrection of Christ may be their hope, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the faithful departed, that theirs now may be light, refreshment and peace, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. God of all mercy, hear our evening prayer. Bring us safely through this night, that we may give you praise with the coming of the dawn. We ask this through Christ, the Word made flesh. Amen. And now in a time of silence, I invite you to pray for people who may be on your hearts this evening, but I ask you also to hold the family of Nicola Bully in our hearts and our prayers tonight. 
we don't know what that family are going through. We can only pray and hold them in God's hands. Father God, we pray for all of those who need prayer tonight. Families of loved ones lost. Families who are grieving. Families who are torn apart. Families who are worried about the cost of living. Families who are ravaged by war and conflict. Families who are saddened by losing people in earthquakes and cyclones. Father God, all of those people that are in the news, that are known to us through the media, but all of those people who are not known to us, but who need you, we ask that you hold your loving arms around them, for you hold us all in the palm of your hand. In your name we pray. Amen. And now we come to all those people that have asked for prayer. We pray tonight for the family of the Reverend Tony Jones, who's in hospital, and for Hazel and the family. We pray for Vicky Longbone and for the Reverend Louise G. We pray with the Reverend Claire and the Reverend Brian Davison for Susie, their daughter. For the Reverend Derek Hopkins in his phased return to work. For the Reverend Martin Ferris as he awaits results. For the Reverend Stanley Crane in his continued recovery from surgery. For the Reverend Michael and Jean Forster the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery, and Father Andy, Moynier's parish priest. We pray with Liz for her great nephew Ryan and for her daughter Emma and Emma's young son Leon. We pray for Cheryl and for Prince and the family in their ongoing care of her. We pray with Andy for Mike, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. We pray for my friend Sean and her family as they struggle with anxiety. We pray for David and for Catherine, Emmy and James. We pray with Irene for John. And we pray with our friend Tom for him and his family. We pray for all those who grieve the passing of loved ones, praying especially at this time for those who grieve for Jean Bushby, especially the, Re the Reverend Robert and Kerry Bushby and all the family. We pray for those who grieve for the Reverend Betty Chadwick, especially John, her husband, Carl, Laurie, Kay and the family. And we pray for those who grieve for Trevor Smith, especially for the Reverend Amanda Linney, his daughter and the family. And we pray for those who grieve for the Reverend Doug Watson. And now together we say the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.
And now, going back to that gospel reading, when Jesus said, now my soul is troubled. There will be people this night whose soul is troubled. May they know the love of the Saviour. So let's listen to Paul Clares of Galway singing, Calm the Soul.
May the light of Christ fill you this evening. May the light of Christ fill all those in need this evening. And may the light of Christ shine forever in our hearts to show the world that Jesus lives and he is the light of the world. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen and good night.